friends and I started it. It was her, her inspiration, her idea that we could do this in Aberdeen. And um, I was the pottery teacher here, and so she said, well, if you do the pottery part, I'll do everything else. Well, then she moved. Like every bowl, I have to check to make sure there's no glaze on the bottom. That would stick in the kiln to the shelf and ruin the bowl and ruin the kiln shelf. Every load of, every kiln load of bowls, it'll hold about um, 40 bowls at a time, approximately. Um, right now we're sitting at about 300, so we, we usually get around 370 and we have one more building day. And some people that come in on their own and do stuff, so depending on what they do, I'm sure we'll be around 350. And that'll be plenty. We always have a few left over. If we ran out of bowls on the day of the event, I would be so tickled. We have all kinds of glazes. Um, some glazes allow for detail work like this. And these are called stroking coats. And they can be used on low fire or high fire. We're using a uh, stoneware clay for all our bowls. This is a stoneware clay. And um, some of the glazes are more geared for high fire and therefore they can be poured or, or painted or whatever. But these are great for detail. And we have a lot of bowls that have a lot of detail because people don't realize that if they put that detail in when they're making it, then they have to paint it. And it takes, it's time consuming. But we end up with some very, very, very creative bowls. And I mean very creative bowls. We have a little bit of everything. Like this little turtle trying to climb out of the swimming pool.